Hey, Kevin Lee and Scott Enders here at the Elite Academy of Martial Arts. We're going to go over the, how to set up the right low kick in Muay Thai class. Um, the recent win was Jose Aldo uh, in the UFC fight for his uh, defending his championship title. Uh, he set it up really well. He does it a lot to all of his opponents. So we're just going to go over that today and show you how to set it up. So we're going to start um, in our fighting stance, and I'm going to show you how to set it up on Scott without the pads at first, and then I'll show you how to work it with the pads. There's lots of different ways you set it up. You uh, can slap the, the right hand of your opponent. You can throw a long hook, a tight hook. You can even throw a body hook. Jose Aldo does all three of those. Um, the traditional one is the jab cross and then right kick, but the one that we're going to show is going to be more a Jose Aldo style because he likes to throw the left hand and then throw the right kick. Okay, so starting your fighting stance, we're going to start in our Muay Thai stance here, and you're moving around, and what I want to do is just uh, start with a simple slap. I'm going to go and reach out, and it's not coming from wide and slapping his hand, because as I do this, and I come wide, he's going to counter me in between. I'm just going to very quickly slap his right hand here, and what I'm trying to do is knock it into his face and get his attention. I want his attention to be up here when I kick down there. I want it as far away from that leg as possible. So I'm moving and I slap right there, taking a slight step to the left, helping me line up my right kick and immediately go on my right. So I'm here, slapping, and boom, go on my right kick. Okay? So I'm here lightly slapping, and go on my right kick. Later on, you'll slap harder. I want to slap hard enough that it bothers him, that his own hand hits him in the face. So I'm going to pop, and bang, go on my right kick like that. Okay? Now, some variations to this. You can actually throw a hook. It doesn't have to be a slap where it's just fainting and getting his attention. You could actually just throw a long hook, okay? Uh, here, I'm just throwing a long hook right for Scott's chin or his jaw, and he blocks, and that's perfect. I don't mind if he blocks it off, because what I really want is that low right leg kick, okay? So again, I'm stepping, throwing the left hook, and then immediately, boom, throwing the right low kick. Again, so going here, one and two. Okay, uh, a unique one that, well, maybe not unique, but one that you see Jose, Jose Aldo do a lot is the, the, the liver punch, too. He's here, he throws a low liver punch there, and then, boom, throws a right leg kick. He's here, throwing the low liver punch, and low right leg kick. Um, I'm doing it, and I'm pausing for just a split second, but when you're sparring and when you're hitting the pads, you actually just do it continuously. You're trying to get him distracted or hit him so that his mind is over on this side and immediately hacking that left leg. It's pretty tough for him to deal with even when he knows it's coming. Proof of that is uh, all of Jose Aldo's opponents, even Uriah Faber, who's considerably uh, very fast. Okay? So again, I can slap, throw in the right leg kick. I can long hook, throw in the right leg kick. I can liver punch, throw in the right leg kick. Um, so we're just doing two movements, the left hand and then the right leg. But in reality, you can set it up any way you want. You could jab, cross, left slap, right kick. You can jab, body cross, body hook, right kick. Okay, any combination you want. You just stick those two, the left hand and the right kick, um, at the end of any combination. You could just foot jab, think here, and then boom, go the right leg kick. Okay, guys? So however you want to set it up. In class, normally, uh, for beginners, I'll just, uh, when we're working out on the path, I'll just work on the left hand and the right kick, okay? And then as you get more advanced, you set up whatever combinations you want, whatever flavors you want, uh, as far as trying to initiate and get the attack to work, okay? So now Scott's gonna hold the pad for me, and we're gonna work on uh, this a little bit heavier with the, with the air shield. So all he's gonna do is just hold the air shield right by his leg, and he's gonna hold it a little bit higher. I normally kick low to the knee, but it gets kind of uh, hard on your opponent's knee, so instead, or your feeder's knee, so instead I aim a little bit higher for the hip just for his own safety, because he can take a lot more on his hip than on his knee, okay? But if your partner can take it or you're not a super heavy kicker, you can kick by the knee. Just be very careful not to uh, sprain your partner's knee. And what he's gonna do is hold his um, right hand up for me, and that's what I'm gonna practice slapping. And then as I get comfortable, I can pretend to hook at him and pretend to hit him in the body too. Okay, so we're working our stance, chin down, hands up, and I'm slapping, and 
I still am not going to kick in there. As I get warmed up, I just start to kick harder. And really, you should be moving around, so we'll just turn for now. I don't want to move out of the camera angle. Are you here? Slapping. Making sure to step. As you slap, you don't want to slap straight at him and throw your round kick because my right leg is slightly um, outside his leg. And I want it to line up a little bit better so as I kick, it almost comes straight in and then turns over at the last second. It makes for a shorter kick. From here. As you get comfortable, you can set up hands. One, two, three. And then half the leg. You can also start to work on the body, so I can throw the hook, okay, right kick, or I can throw the body, so I just boom, throw that low punch, and I'm purposely aiming right here, a meaty part of his arm, so that it doesn't really hurt him, um, he's just going to tuck for me, and obviously, normally you can wear boxing gloves, and that would buffer some of the, the impact. Stay here. So that's one traditional way that we set up the right kick. Uh, another one, a well-known one that a lot of people do, is just a simple jab, cross, right kick. Everyone does this. Um, it's not the same setup as the left hand one. The left hand one, uh, traditional Muay Thai, when I first learned it, we slap. We slap so that it got his attention up, up on the far side, and then you kick them. Okay, slightly different setup than the jab, cross, right kick. A lot of people know that one. It's a little bit easier for Scott to defend because he sees it coming, but um, uh, it still works just as well, especially on guys that aren't prepared. So I can go one, two, and throw that right kick. Okay, guys, not, not quite the same thing. The reason why is as I'm throwing the cross, the tension is still kind of in the middle over here, and it's easier for him to get his mind back down there to check, whereas this one takes the tension way over here and then he, it uh, takes the focus as far away from that leg as possible. Sometimes they'll even turn and look at that punch. If they're not trained well to look at the sternum and use their peripheral, sometimes they'll look a little bit at the punch and try to focus on the punch, which really gets their mind away from that leg. Okay, guys? So again, just a few more. Slap and right kick. Punch, right kick. Body punch, right kick. Okay, let's turn. Take your time, take your time trying to work to, to set it up. Okay guys, I'm here, slapping. And as you get comfortable, start to go a little quicker. And just a little slap. Make sure that this slap doesn't come wide. It needs to just almost look like a jab, but it's gonna go outside his arm, knocking his hand into his face. Okay, Muay Thai stance, his hands are high, the reason why his hands are high like that is because he's trying to keep me from trying to grab him. If I try to grab him, he's inside my arms and he can grab me back. It's not like a boxing stance where they kind of tuck and everything's a little lower and now I can get over him a little bit easier. Harder to counter grab. So Muay Thai stance, a little taller, hands uh, usually about eye level. And so now uh, it's easy for me to slap his hands right into his eye. Okay guys, so here, a few more times. Moving. Okay. Um, if you like the video, please click the like button, the thumbs up button uh, below. Leave comments. Please share this video. Any little bit helps, and it'll help us create more videos for you guys. Thank you.